Today, I'm doing a review on the Comica Vimo 3 wireless microphone. Hi, Taylor here, Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. I am very happy with this Comica Vimo 3 wireless microphone. I'm currently using the microphone right now, so you can hear what it sounds like using Zoom. Some features that I really like about it. A, I appreciate a nice case. I appreciate a case that I can keep everything nice and tidy and be able to travel with easily. Inside of there, you're getting all the main cords that you need. You have a cord to be able to connect to your phone, although it does not come with the exact uh, a additional cord for whether you're an iPhone or an Android user. So if you are an iPhone user, you will need to have your own, um, you know, Thunderbolt to, you know, audio to cord. You will also for Android need that, you know, USB type C to audio cord. Um, you will need to have those adapters, but it comes with the cords that you need to connect to those adapters. Um, it comes with two microphones inside. And so you do get two rather large dead cats in there as well. I do appreciate this box. This box is pretty magical in that everything will stay charged and charging when it's inside of this box. And you can see when I open it, some blue lights come up. The blue lights are going to highlight how charged the actual box is so you know whether or not you need to recharge this box. When you look at the receiver, it does let you know, you know, what your audio levels are. So someone could be looking at the receiver. They're going to see how the audio levels are for each microphone. And it's going to let you know if a microphone is on mute or not. And so that is very convenient that everything is just seen nicely there on that interface. And so how about you take a listen? We did tests on a mirrorless camera on an iPhone an Android, and here you can hear what it sounds like on Zoom. This is the Canon R5C test with the Comica Vimo C microphones. This is A. And this is B. This is a test of the Comica Vimo C microphone. This is microphone A using an iPhone Pro Max 12. And this is microphone B. Okay, test one, two, test using the Comica Vimo 3 and a Galaxy S22 Ultra. Okay, here's the control. Here's the control without a microphone being connected to see if there really is a difference. Talking at the same level, testing. This is the control without a microphone attached. As you can hear, it does a great job on all the devices. Now, I will admit I had some challenges with the Android S22 Ultra. I had one adapter that I was using in my car, but it was a little finicky, I noticed, in my car. And it actually would say it was not supported when I was trying to use it with the microphone. I since then had purchased a different adapter, and now it's working great. And so if you're having issues with the microphone, it may not actually be the microphone microphone, it might be the adapter cord. So definitely test your adapters before you just say that it's not a good microphone. Uh, my one flaw or downside, if I had to say any, would be perhaps the size of it. It is rather large, but for the price point, you really can't complain. You know, normally for our clients, we're using Sennheiser AVX microphones, which are like six times the price. And so, yes, of course, they're going to look smaller, more dainty, a little more professional, but this does a great job. And if you're a speaker who wants to capture their presentations, or if you're just looking to do more videos on your own. This is a great microphone to consider, especially because you don't have to worry about charging it all the time or switching batteries. This box is so useful and it already comes with that secondary microphone. So you can easily have interviews or if the microphone A dies, you can just put on microphone B right away and keep on going on with your production. If you have any questions about this particular microphone, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want to purchase your own, please make sure you look at our equipment tab on our website. We'll have a link to this microphone because we absolutely love it. So I hope this helps you create higher quality videos on your own. And again, never hesitate to reach out if there's 
there's any way we can be of assistance.